It's a Manchu, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On the last episode, uh, how do I put this? I made the Kessel Rung in less than 12 parsecs. I did the horsemanship challenge to get from Van Horn to Blackwater in under 17 minutes without leaving my horse and without crossing water. Quite an accomplishment, and it puts me in Blackwater, which is a nice coincidence because it just so happens that the next thing that uh, John Marston needs to do is go to the bank in Blackwater and ask for a loan. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the opportunity to do some things that I either couldn't do before the epilogue or that I refused to do before the epilogue. Things like track down bounties because that's something I felt that Arthur Morgan wouldn't want to do, but John Marston shouldn't have a problem with it, and I think it might be interesting to do. And there's bounty posters around. There's even one in Blackwater right here. Uh, I'd also like to take the opportunity to do some more fishing for legendary fish. There are at least a couple legendary fish in this territory that I didn't have access to before the epilogue, and now I do. And in the process of tracking down those legendary fish, it'll give me a chance to explore this territory and see what there is here. I kind of zoomed through this territory in that run to Blackwater and didn't see much, and I'd, I'd like to see what there is here to see. So, it may be several episodes before I get back to the story, honestly. Several episodes of me doing other stuff. And I guess the first thing I want to do is explore Blackwater. Look around the town and see what there is to see here. There's a couple things in Blackwater I'd like to see if I could find, actually. One of them is a newspaper. I'd like to see if I can find a newspaper. The other thing is... I'd like to see if I could find a certain grave that I think is in Blackwater. And I want to see if I can find it. So I'm going to look around. What time of day is it here? Well, the shops aren't going to be open yet, but we'll look around and see what I can see at night. I don't know if I should just walk into people's houses. That seems inappropriate. Oh, wait. Here's a church, and I wonder if there's a cemetery around the church. Let's, let's walk around and see. Here lies the body of Seth Trice, 1824-1847. Always in our thoughts. Huh. I don't think that's who I'm looking for. In memory of Olive Shipley, 1847-1855. Yeah, so there are... The headstones I was looking at over there didn't have names on them, but these do. Oh, that's disturbing. Stanley Pollard died October... What does it say? October 12th, 1873. His soul died many years earlier. Colonel Thurston Pope, a hero and... Oh, inspiration. A hero and inspiration to us all came to his death by the accidental discharge of his gun on the 28th of June, 1887. Phyllis Shadlow died on the 4th of October, 1886. I can't make up the rest of that. Georgia Dobbs. Killed by the falling of an oak tree upon her. 13 September 1866. Oh, hi, guys. You look happy. Look drunk happy. All right.
Eldon Crabb Sr., 1849 to 1889, survived by his grateful wife. <laughs> okay. Mm, Matilda Brines, January 28, 1885, 23 years. <laughs> Myra Leathers of Blackwater. Uh. There it is. There it is. I might need to get a like extreme close up of this. Greta Vanderlind, loving mother to her son Dutch, eighteen thirty five to eighteen eighty one. There was grace in her steps. Love. What does it say? Love in every gesture. Way back in chapter three, there is an optional thing you can do to go fishing with Dutch and Hosea. And if you do, Dutch mentions that he found out that his mother was buried in Blackwater. There's your tombstone. Willie Svensson died 3rd March 1894. Clinton Underwood, an honest businessman who died poor. <laughs> oh, okay. Pearl Palmer, 1860 1887, died of a broken heart. Outlaw died 2nd November 1893. Earth has no sorrow that cannot be. Oh, Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Young black man died 29th September 1891, and flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. And in memory of Freda Dunbar, or is that Frida? Frida Dunbar, loving wife of Oswald, November 6, 1906. Oh, this must be a recent one. Beatrice Pickett died October 12, 1873. In loving memory of Emma Crawford. Died May 28th. Does that say 1880? 1880, I think. We miss you. Minerva Pratt died of fever on the 18th October. 1883. Samuel Makepence. 10th of May, 1870. His last breath smelled of whiskey. Delilah Gaskell, 1852-1891. Wake me if something interesting happens. Is that trying to say something? <laughs> Is that a criticism of my gameplay? Doris Mosley, died poor but happy on the 19th of May, 1874. And Rose Beasley died August 12th, 1899. What was her name again? Greta Vanderland. Alright, so mission accomplished. I was looking to see if that was here, and it was. Greta Vanderland. Well then. Hey, partner! Good morning. Let's head down in Blackwater and see what's going on here. Hmm. 
What is that building? Not sure, is that the bank? Hey, mister. Good morning. What's this little place here? Wanted. 30 to 50 needed. What does that say? Okay, then. Wanted 30 to 50 carpenters and woodworkers. Need immediately for various building work. Huh. That's a job. I don't think uh, John Marston knows anything about carpentry. Howdy, folks. It's a good spot, this, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, are they putting in a sewer line? Easy. Morning, mister. Thank you. Man. The amazing wonders of modern plumbing. Hey, feller. Morning, friend. There's definitely construction going on here. Look at this place. Hey there. Hello. Sorry, I shouldn't mess around in your sight here. What's this building? Can I get in? The answer is no. I cannot. This is quite a place here. What are they building? Behind you, partner. Morning, friend. That guy won't talk to me. I see a lot of stuff under construction here. Oh yeah, we're gonna see what that Okay there. That uh, stone building over here is. What is that? Oh, it's the bank. Is that the bank? Good morning. Wait a minute. Good morning, mister. That's not the bank. It can't be. It says bank on it. Oh wait a minute. Cause that's supposedly where I'm supposed to go. Maybe that's like a new bank that they're building? I don't know. Got me nowhere. Uh, I'm trying excuse me. Good morning, mister. This, this must be a new bank building under construction. Hello there. Can I get into this? Hi. Uh, apparently not. Doing all right? Well, hey, partner. Hi. Morning. Hello? Lots of stuff going on over here. What's that say? Cakes? I like cake. Let's see if I can find cake. Morning to you. Good morning. All right, I was just there. Although there was nobody in there before. Gentlemen, a very good morning to you. Howdy, Mister. Give me a pork chop and a gun, and I do us all of you. you Man, you look—you're a pretty sad-looking guy. Help me out with anything, anything. Don't be like Congress. Pass a bill. Uh, nope. Sorry. Not going to help you out. Not interested in helping you out. It's up here. Huh. Oh, just a coin. Just a coin. Come on, please. Uh. Premium cigarettes. Oh. Got another card. Snake oil. Dr. Hawthorne's. Vistas of America. Okay.
That is some view. That is really some view. I'll buy a newspaper. Do you like an issue? I would. I'll take one. Then better. Blackwater Ledger number 72. Oh, you'll land on your feet. Bye then. Good morning. morning when I get a chance, I'll read that. I'm not not right away. I just wanna wait till evening. Mister. Morning, wait till I'm done exploring this area. Read it first. Those were the two things I wanted to find in Blackwater. The grave of Dutch Vanderlyn's mom. And a newspaper. Some crazy fella rode through town the other day, shooting at everything that moved. Killed Howdy. three horses and raced away before the sheriff could even find his hat. Well, hand can play out. Is it's there uh, something I can get for you? Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Let's have the peach cobbler. That sounds good. One bowl of peach cobbler. This here is a real man's game. Tasty. Thank you, sir. New oh, it looks like it. But things sure feel the same to me. You don't say. Hey, partner. That's closed, folks. Morning, well, that's partner. Is there anything over here? There's a blackjack table and a poker table here. What's over here? I'm not gonna rub and shoot. Oh my God! It's a telephone. Wow. What do they think of next? It's amazing. Good. Lucky for you. You're real helpful. Thank you. Hi there. Hey, we're yeah, this place is bustling. It looks as busy as Saint Denis. Uh. Oh, uh, hot food lodging. It's like a hotel. Ain't that the way? It's closed. Hello. There's a few other businesses over there. Excuse me. Know what I just decided? Not to worry about all this crap. That's nice to hear. Hello. Hi now. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's a stable. I should check that out. Not that I'm interested in buying horses, mind you. Seriously? Where are the stores in this place? Do I want to check out the stables? Hello, sir. All right, little feller. At least the weather. Hey, doggy. Hola. All right, never mind. Bueno, ladies. Para donde? Caballero. Some humble-looking homes over here. Oh. Ma'am! How are things? Howdy. Just saying hello to everybody. Hello. What's this sign say? It says something on the side. 12th Annual Home Crafts Display. City Hall Blackwater. It's like some kind of... Some kind of fair or something? Fireworks display this Sunday at 8.30. Hey! Howdy, friend. Looking for paintings? Oh, there's a barber there. I don't really need a shave at this point. Well. Hello? I can't resist. I gotta check out this theater here. Hey, partner. Howdy. Oh, I hope this new century brings me some new Yeah, I know. Hello, you need a ticket? Uh, what kind of show are you showing? Which show is it? Something you might enjoy. Direct Current Damnation. Sure, let's buy that. That's a new one. It's a new show. I'll be darned. Can I buy a ticket, please? Through the doors behind you, please. Inflation, though. I think it's gone up in price. So. Wow. 
Wow, look at this place. Pretty awesome. Let me take a seat next to these lovely ladies. Wow! Modern technology, man. Not all electricity is equal. Alternative current is safe. Interesting. Direct current is dangerous. Ooh. Direct current is a deadly menace. Brought to you by Nikola Tesla. Direct current wipes out the ignorant. <laughs> Which would you prefer in your home? An evil menace strong enough to fell a mighty elephant? Or calm gift from the gods that provides light and warmth? Alternating current lights our homes and warms our baths. Oh, that seems unsafe. Alternating current slims our bellies and calms our women's hysteria. That's uh, quite a contraption. This message has been brought to you by the Atlantic Electronic. Oh, I missed that last part. Well, that's interesting. Also, I want to check out more of these shows because there might be more. That's really cool. There's some history to that. Um, Nikola Tesla, who was a big advocate for alternate current, it was a good one. See you soon. had a bit of a dispute with uh, Thomas Edison, who was an advocate for direct current. Thomas Edison went on this big PR campaign to show that alternate current was dangerous and demonstrate how dangerous Yo. it was to convince people to go with DC. Um, I think the electric chair might have been a oh, product of that. Again, to show the dangers of alternating currents. The DC, like that movie showed. Hello. Hey. And electrocuting an elephant was one of the things that they did with the alternating current to show how dangerous it was. The electric chair, I think, might have been Hi, miss. an invention how that used do? alternating current to show how dangerous it was. Hello, ladies. Hello, dear. Or I might be just talking to my butt, not knowing what I'm talking about. I don't know. Hi there. Uh, howdy. Is this a general store? I'm still looking for a general store. Hey there. Hey. hey. There's not so clothing. I have to go to a tailor. Okay. Didn't know there was a tailor in this town. Let's see what you got waiting for then. I bought something. This looks like the sheriff's office. Let's check in here. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. You can interest me. Spent time Might take a look. I ain't out here looking to get friendly. Now get away from me. Let's see. Elias Green. Is that $90 reward? $90 reward, Elias Green. Apprehension of death of. One on warrant for murder and mutilation of six settlers near Manzanita Post. He's a member of the Skinner Brothers gang and is considered extremely dangerous. Last seen in the Great Plains area. Green is stocky and wears animal skins, bear hat, and buckskin shirt. It reminds me of somebody that Arthur got into a fight in in Valentine. Probably not the same guy, though. Now, I haven't done these bounties before, so I don't understand. Oh, dead, captured dead or alive, $90. Do I get paid more if he's alive, or does it not matter? I don't know. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Hello. Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them. If you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive. 
but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. I'll see what I can do. Say hello to that no good for me. Hello there. Alrighty. I think all that's left in the town, there's a tailor that I didn't hey, visit yet. There's a butcher, which I'm not really interested in um, buying or selling for the butcher. Howdy. All right, so let me check my map here real quick. I've done explored. Is it showing me a point? On, yeah, right here. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I don't really know how this works. I suppose it's probably preferable to bring him in alive if I can. We'll see. We'll see if that's possible. You okay, dude? Christ, man. What'd you get yourself into? Holy crap, dude. Are you all right? You, you're like a pincushion. What happened to you? Dude, are you okay? You do not look well. <laughs> you are... Look at this guy. He's absolutely full of arrows. You see this guy? Too many folks about. Hey, he's not talking to me. I kind of want to follow and see where he goes. Well, I followed that guy for a while, but then I went back to my horse for a minute and he disappeared. He just vanished. So I don't know what happened to that guy. Come on, then. Look at you go. Alright. I'm assuming that I should track on foot. Try to be stealthy. Okay, locate him. He's wanted dead or alive. I don't know if he's alone or with he's with a gang. I think he's with a gang. And my tracking isn't showing me anything. Okay. I don't know how tough this... How tough this guy's gonna be. I got my eyes peeled. I have no idea how to do this. I've never done a bounty hunting before. I've never done a bounty hunting. I never looked for a bounty before. I don't know what I'm doing. Thought maybe look for tracks. I don't see anything out here. In this vicinity somewhere. Oh, there's a camp. Oh. Not a camp. Okay, now we found something. Jesus. Oh. Do a thing like this. Looks like you've been shot full of arrows and scalped. Not here. That body's been burned. This place has been attacked. Yeah, and the bodies have been scalped, at least some of them. See if I can find anything with dead eye. Oh, there's a box here.
I have a great deal of trepidation here. I don't know what I'm getting into. I really want to see, I want to see them before they see me. Okay, now, this way. I don't see anything. I heard a few gunshots. I mean, you made that easy. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, well, shoot. Shoot. I, I got a problem. Shoot. No, no. Get out. Get out from cover. Get out from cover. Sorry, buddy. Where is he? out of whistling range. He's escaping. Chase him. Chase him. Hopefully he's on foot too or I'm in trouble. You're dying here. Oh, I found you. I got you alive. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha! I'm picking you up. Come on, dude. I should have looted him first. I probably still could, but let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. <laughs> I would love to see you try. I got him alive. Come on. Oh shoot, my horse is too far away. I was tracking this guy on foot for quite a while, so... Damn horse! Still out of whistling range. Hang on. I may regret this. Don't ask. Let's drop him for a second. Let's see what you got. 
that in here. Don't give him a chance to wriggle free. Pick him up. Here we go. There's some horses over there. Can I put it on one of these horses? Yeah, stow it on the Morgan. We're going for a ride. There you go. Now let's Not my horse, but it'll do. I have to find my way to my horse. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Turns his back. Do give it a rest. <laughs> Shut up. Oh shoot, this isn't really where I wanted to go. You got a wharf somewhere? Shut you up. Like you got a you <laughs> may get a wife of your own in prison. Yeah. <laughs> you ever felt pain, mister? Real pain? Oh, Is that pain? You're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. There you are. Rachel, 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 what are you doing? You stupid. All right, let's go. Rachel. Rachel, honey, come here. Come here. I swear you, the horse AI in this game is so freaking dumb. <laughs> It really gets annoying sometimes. It really... They want me alive. They won't know what to do with me. The judge is gonna let me go so I can come and live is how they're getting you with a few bruises. I mean, I really would wish you'd just shut up. Maybe I shouldn't have taken you alive. Come in. Come here, fella. Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! Yeah, I'll it bite you! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. Well, Where do you want him? Got you that skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breed. God damn it. Put him in a sail. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. Have a nice nap. Boy, that's not very secure. That <laughs> mechanism, it seems like you can open it from the inside. Hey, I gained honor for collecting that bounty. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you, Chief? It's only fair. Nine dollars. You don't go after nice. these bounties, I'm going to have to. There's another... Wait a second. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like I got... Next you're going to be up right quick. Come back for it. Death on you! Death on you in blackness! I'll see you dead and every man like you. I will. It works for the rest of... Heston Jameson, two hundred dollars. Slick Hutton, a hundred dollar reward. Wow. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. They'll come for me. The Skinners ain't afraid of your jailhouse and your badge. What kind of world do we live in, dear Lord? Can I taunt him from the? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. My work is done here. Ninety dollars, well earned. All right. My first successful bounty track down. I'm pleased with myself. Maybe not the most efficient way, but I did it. Oh! I forgot I was going to do this. Blackwater Ledger, number 72.
Let's check this out. Panic of 1907. Stock market crashes. President Waxman hails progress. Discusses canal. Jeremy Gill still writing his articles. Whoa, it's you. <laughs> well, there you go. Almost got him. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. <laughs> You're the damn fish. You are the damn fish. Oh god, no, 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 get off, get off. John Marston can't swim. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to find that information out. John Marston can't swim. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a thing in the previous game. That... You can't swim. If you go into the water, you die. That's got to be the one. Beautiful. Shit, yes. You're quite a bass. That's the legendary. It's got to be. Yep, keep that sucker. Whoa, whoa. What is that? No, it's not. You two okay? You guys okay? Oh, Aww. You okay? I, I thought we were done for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thanks to this man. Mister, words cannot express my thanks to you. No need. It's the least I can do. I was do. here in time. Get out of here. Take care of yourselves. These were the Skinners. That's that guy I tracked down. It was a Skinner. Don't mind me. I'm just carrying on the time honored tradition of looting the corpses. It's the way of the West. Gotta loot the corpses. Loot the camp. Every little bit helps. I got some stuff to mail. Well, what can I send for you? I'll have it to them in a jiffy. There we go. Twelve of thirteen caught and posted. Led mailed at least ten legendary fish to Jeremy Gill returned to the post office. After 24 hours. Oh. So I'm going to have a reward coming for that. 
There's one more legendary fish to catch. Um, and I've seen the location. I know where it is. I just don't know how to get it. And I may try that later on. It is in the Grizzlies. Right here. And this lake is frozen, so... When I was last up here, I could not get at it because the lake is frozen. Now, it may be that it's thawed out. I don't know. Uh, that's a project I'm going to have to tackle at some point. Um, yeah. Albert Mason, I could talk to that guy at some point. I keep putting that off. And there's God knows there's a lot of bounty posters around. We want to check into that. There's a bounty poster here. Another one I can check out. So, I have explored a little bit of this territory that before I didn't know existed and I couldn't get into. I've explored a little bit more of it. There's still more to see. And, um, I could see myself spending several episodes just tracking down bounties and doing other miscellaneous stuff having nothing to do with the main story. That's probably what's going to happen. So, I mean, if you're into the main story and that's what you want to see, it may not happen for a while. I'm just going to say, you're going to have to be patient with me. Because uh, I want to do all this stuff. I want to tackle all these things that I haven't I been able to, to do before. Just hurry. And, uh, but next time, I guess I'm just going to track down another bounty. See if I can catch that last legendary fish. And see what else there is to see. Tune in for that next time on Amon Chooses, Red Dead Redemption 2.